It's BBC Radio Sheffield, 20 minutes past five. Now, after a bad month for the steel industry, we have, in a small way, a good news story about Sheffield Steel. Uh, there's a new start-up company called Bailey, using the metal that made Sheffield famous to create a collection of jewellery, and it's based right here in the Steel City. The business is looking for crown funding via Kickstarter, and we'll come to that in a moment. But Scott and Adele Bailey, who founded the company, are with us on BBC Radio Sheffield. Welcome to you both. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome along. So where did this idea come from, then? Uh, 2005, when, uh, so we also operate Plug in the city centre, and uh, when we expanded and did our refurb, we had some air conditioning installed, as boring as that sounds, but it was inspired by the Gripple, which is obviously another Sheffield institution, and uh, I set about doing sketches and uh, little designs of jewellery based on stainless steel cable. So that was 2005, and by 2010, my wife had said, that's enough sketches, it's enough talking about it, you need to do something about it. So, And that was the start then, and uh, and, and it's taken us this time to develop everything to get to this point. All right, you've got your sketches in, in your little sketchbook yes. there. You've done lots and lots of them. What happened next? Years of prototyping, so the designs, the prototypes, back to the drawing board. But, uh, yeah, we just wanted to make sure that we'd got everything right, because some of the stuff, whilst it looks quite simple, it's very clever you know we've had a lot of help from both universities along the way uh, in terms of Sheffield Hallam and their industrial design teams and testing at Sheff University of Sheffield so you know a lot cleverer people than us have been helping us to bring it to life. What do they look like, these bracelets? Yeah, it's very so difficult, isn't it, on radio? You have to yes. describe it for so us. So they're, they're prototypes because um, the Kickstarter is literally to help get wow. everything going. Okay. Everything, everything about this project is designed and made and manufactured in Sheffield. Uh, we've got one, even the grub screw, which is 1.2 millimetres inside, is from Sheffield. And that was our core spirit. We had to go a little bit in the wider South Yorkshire region for some of the things, but pretty much Sheffield, there or thereabouts. So in my hand here, I've got... The, they look like steel rope of different colours. So it's four millimetre stainless steel cable. Yeah. It's uh, it's technically seven by 19 in construction, which means that there's seven strands, uh, 19 strands woven over seven ways, which, if you look closely, you can see. Yeah. So yeah. it's complete... It's what's used in a lot of industrial and sailing applications. So it's very flexible, but it's incredibly strong. You could technically hang a medium-sized family car off of that <laughs> if you want the, to. the university of sheffield say so <laughs> look at that that's fantastic it's very attractive very very attractive indeed now so and these beads go on it oh look oh so i see a selection so those, of beads. Those, those fit on like yes. a, like a charm bracelet everybody gets idea. a free signature bead yeah which is the small one just there oh, look yeah look at that so they clip onto the that's actual right. bracelet itself yeah and then you have stoppers as well which allow you to space it and curate it really and wear it your way and we have seven different colours as well, which uh, essentially the, the whole principle of this is around customization. So uh, you can sit at home and decide that you want the clasp is three main parts. Yep. So you can have the clasp in one colour or three different colours. You can have the cable in a different colour and all of those components that you have in front of you. Yep. You can customise yourself to wear your way. They're great. <laughs> I like it. Great idea. Now, Kickstarter campaign. What's the idea behind that then? What happens? So Kickstarter is a social media crowdfunding platform and it allows companies like us to bring an idea to life and hopefully the people out there prove that the concept is something that they like and if they like it, they'll support it and they support it by pledging and buying into the product, basically. So It also gives us a first opportunity with a route to market. This way we're able to tell not just our friends and family what we're doing, but we've got 33 days to ensure we've got the manufacturing down. 33 days? That's how long we've got it for. <sighs> we've asked for £15,000 on the Kickstarter, but we've already achieved £2,600 and I think in about six hours. So we're waiting for America to fully wake up. That's going to be exciting because we know we've got quite a bit of support in the US already. But, uh, yeah, the trick for us will be to keep the Kickstarter campaign buoyant for 33 days. We've had a great start. We literally broke the internet in the UK today. We were trending for a couple of hours. Really? And it was literally flashing up with record-breaking things. So Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, it's amazing. And that's just all thanks to all our friends and colleagues, people that have helped us along the way. But uh, And Tramlines as well, yeah, who I know you're speaking to in a minute. But <laughs> Tramlines was a massive boost to us. They, they sent out a message to their social media this afternoon. So, but thank you to everybody that's helped us get to this point.
I, know, I don't like to ask this question, but I have to ask the question. What happens if the funding doesn't work then and you don't get what you need? Um, so we uh, we will always exist on our own transactional website when we come out of the campaign. You know, it was always our desire to, to sell a Sheffield product you know on our website we also have been in discussions with retailers up and down the country uh, and uh, we're very i've been mentored for a couple of years now by uh, a, a wonderful woman in the jewelry industry the jewelry industry by the way is very small you could fit them all in this studio but um they've said very kind words about it and uh, she was ex gucci and ex cartier so she's got a good track record but the jewelry industry very kindly are tipping us for hot things but that means there's a lot of weight on our shoulders we've got a lot to deliver now and and this started as a project just about shouting about Sheffield and its history and its prov- the provenance of stainless steel. When we've actually taken a unit in Portland Works, our workshop is in Portland Works. We are making these bracelets and all the other associated bits feet away from where Harry Brearley was producing the first stainless steel, Russ No stain- stainless steel cutlery in Sheffield. It's a tremendous buzz that I get from both of you. You're very excited about this. Once they're made, where will they be available, do you think, if you manage to get your money on your your Kickstarter? Yeah, so the primary outlet will be through our own website. Yeah. But, um, and as I say, we have lined up some retailers. Um, we don't, we, we're not anti-retail, but the world's changed. And so, uh, you know, the internet is, uh, you know, is your friend if you use it the right way. And uh, so that's, that's sort of really the plan at I the think, moment. I think the days of you having to take um, shops on every high street up and down the country are over. You know, you just couldn't possibly afford the rent and the rates for that, for that kind of services anymore. And... Let's face it, most people under 40 are more than used to shopping on the internet these days. It's a delight meeting both of you. It's, we'll, we'll monitor the story with great interest. And good luck to Bailey. Thank uh, you. Adele, thank you very much indeed. And thanks too, of course, to Scott. Thank thanks thanks for coming much. in. Thank, thank you. you. BBC Radio Sheffield. E Radio Sheffield. E Radio Sheffield.